morning everyone this is Chaitali Bagh Chief of Bureau with Aviation and Defense Universe day 3 at DEFIA 2023 Athens and I am standing at BA Systems Pavilion uh, I'm here with Mark e. Collins who's VP International Business Development for Southern Europe Mediterranean region thank you so much Mark for giving your time to us and uh, here we shoot our questions to you all about Greece and Mediterranean region so uh, Mark is this Mediterranean region a big market for BA? Well, thanks very much for the opportunity to talk about um, not just the opportunities we're looking at, but a bit of our track record in terms of supplying systems, for example, in the market which is which is Greece. Yes, the, the Greek defense market is an important one for BAE systems. Now, while we obviously speak only for ourselves as a company and not for any governments or anyone else, I think it's clear to everyone that Greece has long been a staunch NATO ally and an ally of the United States. And from where our sector, my sector of BAE Systems sits, which is our platforms and services sector based in Falls Church, Virginia, in the Washington, D.C. area, uh, there are some very interesting opportunities here in Greece and a track record of systems that we've provided. Platforms and Services has long been a provider of tracked and wheeled combat vehicles, including amphibious vehicles and naval weapon systems as well, both that of the United States and that of our Bofors and Haglunds businesses in Sweden. And for example, here in Greece, we are we have been the provider and the original equipment manufacturer of the M109 self-propelled howitzer, which is operated by the Hellenic Army. Also, the M113 armored personnel carrier operated by the Hellenic Army. And in addition, for example, the Mark 45 naval weapon system um, operated by the Hellenic Navy. Now, whether or not, whether it is support to systems that are in service, opportunities to upgrade some of these systems that are in service, or provide a next generation of solutions in these various spaces, these various roles, we do see several opportunities and we're happy, we're pursuing them and we're happy to do so in collaboration with the Greek defense industry. So in the Mediterranean, in the southern European Mediterranean region, it is not only Greece. Who are our, uh, which countries are already your existing customers? In sure. terms of, uh, Thanks reason. very much for the question. So in Spain, we have several systems that are in operation and we're looking at opportunities in Spain, also in collaboration with the Spanish national defense industry to upgrade some of these systems or provide the next generation of these systems. I'll mention briefly that in Italy, we have an excellent partnership with Efeco Defense Vehicles to provide the U.S. Marine Corps' next generation 8x8 amphibious vehicle known as the amphibious combat vehicle and we're looking at opportunities in a couple of other markets in the region as well in addition to Greece. Something which is like a burning topic nowadays, the Ukraine war, the Russian-Ukraine war. Mm -hmm. So uh, for a company like BAE, has the Ukraine war increased the demand uh, of BAE systems, uh, equipments and uh, capabilities in Europe? I'll be honest with you, that's fundamentally a government-to-government -government discussion at this point in time. Obviously, the defense industry, not just BAE systems, but others are in a position to support as required, and we will respond to requirements as they emerge. But at, that, at this point in time, I'd leave that question for the governments that are involved. Right. So, uh, next, Greece is now a hub, a, uh, a defense, uh, the eye basically in the Mediterranean region. It's very important when it comes to defense ties, when it is coming, it's strategically very important. So what is the future that BA Systems is looking for Greece and the Mediterranean region here? Well, we see several ways in which we could collaborate with the defense the industry here in Greece. You made an excellent point that there are companies in Greece, and I won't name them, I'll, I'll leave it to, yeah. to them to name themselves publicly, but I think we all know that there are companies in Greece that not only do an excellent job supporting the Hellenic Armed Forces, but also export solutions in conjunction with actors in the defense industry that come from outside of Greece. We uh, would hope to take a similar approach to our projects and our opportunities in Greece, both providing upgrades to solutions and providing new solutions into the armed forces here in Greece, but to the extent that it's feasible, yes, taking advantage of the capabilities of the defense industry in Greece to support 
opportunities and projects outside of Greece is also of interest. Right. Like many other countries, SBA system is having tie-ups with the industry, the local industry. SBA systems looking forward to have tie-ups with the local industry in the Greece as well? Yes, we see executing upgrade projects and the provision of new platforms here in Greece as necessarily involving collaboration with the, with the, with the Greece defense industry. Absolutely. Right. So now we come to the displays, uh, the the equipments, the capabilities that BA Systems is showcasing in DEFIA. And of course, Mark is going to tell us more about them. Thanks very much. I'm standing in front of the CV-90 Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which is a platform provided by our Haglunds business based in Sweden. Uh, the CV-90 is, as I say, an infantry fighting vehicle that has also grown to be a family of vehicles over the decades that it's been in service and that it's been produced. We are now providing actually the fifth generation of the vehicle. It's a vehicle which is constantly in a process of modernization and very importantly, adaptation to emerging customer requirements. Requirements. As I mentioned, it is a family of vehicles, a medium weight vehicle whose foremost characteristic is its mobility. Um, it, it has the capability to integrate several different sizes and kinds of turrets, gun calibers, and a range of other subsystems on board the vehicle, again, adapted to the needs of its operators. Um, it is a vehicle that can be co-produced in the country of an acquiring service. We have a long track record of production of the vehicle turret in, uh, in, the, in the countries where it's operated and in addition, a much broader scope of local production of the vehicle can take place. This is our approach to offering the vehicle because we understand further to the discussion that we had earlier that involvement of the local industry in an acquiring nation is obviously of tremendous importance. So where all is this vehicle already in, um, in function? The, the vehicle is in operation in eight nations and uh, we recently signed a contract to provide it to yet an additional nation which is Slovakia. Mm -hmm. And as a result of the above, I would highlight there is a CV90 users group the various operators of the vehicle. It's a users group that enjoys the support and participation of our business as well, but it's driven by the vehicle's users. And we find that as a result, there's a tremendous exchange of knowledge, ideas, thinking regarding the platform and the potential for its future evolution. And in addition, it makes the integration of the vehicle into the forces of a new user considerably easier as an additional user of the vehicle benefits from the long-time knowledge of the other members of the users group. Right. So when you talk about the local production of this vehicle, uh, the eight nations, the eight countries that you that is already uh, where this vehicle is in operation, are they doing the local production as well for this vehicle? So I'll offer an interesting example, which is that of the provision of the turret for the vehicle, which has happened in the Netherlands for a very long time. Uh, Norwegian industry was also intensively involved in the provision of the vehicle into Norway. Uh, there will be very intensive involvement of the defense industry in Slovakia when the vehicles are provided as well. So I think those are three strong examples. So what about Greece? This vehicle in Greece, I mean, have what the so, interest they have shown till now? Let me put it this way. Um, our role as industry, obviously, is to respond to the demand signal from a customer and respond to their requirements as they emerge. So uh, the Hellenic Army, again, I won't speak for them, but this is public knowledge, um, they have stated that uh, they intend for an IFV requirement to be forthcoming in the coming years. Given that potential opportunity, we thought it was very worthwhile and very important to bring the vehicle and show it here in Athens. And as the Hellenic Army defines its requirements and were it to initiate a project, we absolutely would intend to respond with the CV90 platform and on the basis of robust participation by the Greek defense industry. Absolutely. Great. Here we are looking at a model of our assault amphibious vehicle. Uh, the BAE Systems and its legacy businesses have been the original equipment manufacturer of amphibious vehicles for the U.S. Marine Corps for several decades. And the Assault Amphibious Vehicle is a vehicle which is currently operated by the U.S. Marine Corps. It will be replaced in service little by little by the Amphibious Combat Vehicle, the 8x8 vehicle that we are providing the U.S. Marines in close partnership with the Beko Defense Vehicles. And in the meanwhile, the Assault Amphibious Vehicle uh, is operated in the United States and in several other nations around the world. Recent contracts in the past years to provide the vehicle, for example, have taken place in Japan and Taiwan and Brazil. 
and the AAV vehicle, as we call it, is a vehicle with a crew of three and capable of transporting up to 21 fully equipped Marines in a true ship-to-shore amphibious mission capability. Um, it is launched from amphibious landing ships by the several nations that operate it, and it is a ship, as I say, it is a ship which allows Marines to fulfill their essential ship-to-shore mission, operating, uh, uh, surviving uh, without mission failure in up to Sea State 5 and navigating successfully in Sea State 3, for example. Here we are looking at a model of the BAE Systems M109 self-propelled howitzer in its most recent configuration, the A7 configuration, uh, which has entered service with the U.S. Army. BAE and its legacy companies have been the original equipment manufacturer of the M109 howitzer for several decades. Uh, we are currently in full rate production of the M109 A7 and supplying it to the U.S. Army. And the M109 in earlier configurations is operated by several allied nations around the world. I'd highlight the fact that, for example, the Hellenic Army operates an important number of M109 A5 howitzers. So BAE Systems can offer the A7 vehicle in a new build configuration, and we can also offer upgrade solutions to earlier howitzers operated by other nations when that is the solution which most meets their requirements. The M109A7 howitzer um, is a vehicle which offers a user tremendous commonality, for example, in the U.S. with the Bradley Infantry Fighting Vehicle, because the chassis itself has a tremendous amount of commonality with the Bradley chassis. And we now also, in the A7, offer a fully automated turret, fully electrically driven turret, and the gun is a fully features a fully digitized onboard fire mission system, which allows essentially what is the heart of artillery's effectiveness, which is rapid response to a fire mission, the ability to execute that fire mission rapidly, and the ability to displace once again very rapidly to minimize the risk of counter-battery fire, which is essentially what an artillery mission is all about. As you said, that uh, you are ready to offer the upgrade for the Greek defense. Have they asked for a addition or is this just a plan of the VA systems? I'll leave it to the Hellenic Army to speak to specific requirements that they may have formulated or specific RFIs that they may have put out. What I will say as a general matter is that where an operator, an international operator of the M109A5 system, for example, like Greece, has sustainment requirements or interest in an upgrade, we obviously are interested in it. We can support a discussion of, of those requirements. Right. Thanks very much. And last, I'll talk for a moment about our Mark 45 naval gun system. As I mentioned earlier, a BAE Systems Platforms and Services has long been a provider of naval weapon systems from 25 millimeters all the way up to 5 inches or 127 millimeters out of our U.S. weapon systems business and our Bofors business in Sweden. Here, we're looking at the Mark 45 5-inch naval weapon system. It is the U.S. Navy standard front gun on several ship classes, um, it is currently in its Mod 4 configuration in the U.S. Navy, and the way we provide the Mod 4 gun is to upgrade U.S. Navy Mod 2 guns to the Mod 4 configuration. I mention that because there are several international operators of the Mark 45 naval weapon system in its Mod 2 configuration. The Hellenic Navy is one, uh, the Spanish Navy is another, and there are several others. I mention this because one cost-effective way the BA systems can support international Mark 45 operators in their constant modernization of their capabilities is in providing a Mark 45 upgrade, which is referred to as the CCS, or the Common Control System configuration. BA systems can work with an international Navy's existing Mod 2 gun and upgrade the electronic systems within the gun to take the gun from an analog to a digital configuration and allow the gun to function in a much more modern fire control manner. This would allow an international Navy to modernize the gun at the same time that they modernize a, a broader ship combat system um, 
that they undertake such an effort or at the same time that they undertake an entire ship class MLU. So I'll say that we're in discussions with a few different international navies as they structure midlife upgrade programs, MLU programs for their existing ship classes. We are in conversations with these navies about the feasibility of upgrading their Mark 45 Mod 2 guns to the CCS configuration so that the gun and its capabilities keep pace with the broader modernization of the ship platform. Right. Well, we had we got to know the capabilities that BA Systems is showcasing in DEFIA. So finally, Mark, three days in DEFIA, today is the last day. How has been the show today? Our Greek hosts have been wonderful, and it has been a very productive show for us. We have held every single meeting, which was scheduled ahead of time, and the entire range of senior Greek stakeholders, both in the armed forces, in the Ministry of Defense, and in the Greek industry, have been very generous with their time with us at this show. Right. Thank you so much, Mark, for your time with us. You have been really generous with your time also with us. Thank Thanks a lot, and we really look forward to meet you again in the near future. Thanks, Thanks very much. Thanks.